We're down at Travis's place. Now what you're looking at is corn silage. Actually right now it's kind of a mixture of hay and, so hay and corn silage. You can see there's a corn leaf. But every now and then you can see a few kernels of corn that are coming out. This corn is from the late late summer of 2014. No, 2013. So this corn silage is three years old. And yes, it's somewhat rotted, but that's the idea behind a harvester. So we're still getting some hay silage coming out of there. There's about 10 foot of corn silage that we put in this harvester. So we're getting there. We aren't planning to put any silage back in there in the meantime, but Travis and I know that we would like to put some silage back there in the future because it is pretty handy to feed the cows with in the winter. And we're just running some out because we haven't gotten around to putting the cows out to pasture yet. The silage that's in the harvester has rotted as much as the oxygen or the amount of oxygen that's in the harvester would let it. Because once it runs out of oxygen, fermentation stops or at least it extremely slows down and that's what preserves your feed. In all honesty we can probably go another year without wanting any silage in the harvester because we really haven't been feeding out all that much even with all the, all the cows down here during the winter. What you're looking at down there is the last of the round bales that we have. And that works out pretty well for us because we've practically hit our mark dead on as far as how many hay bales that we're producing. We don't really like to, or at least we don't really want to be selling any hay bales. So we tore up as much hay as we thought we could get away with and it came out just about perfect. So as far as needing any more hay ground to make hay bales, we don't really need much more. But if we're going to be looking into putting silage up the harvester sometime in the future years, we might want to be putting some ground back into hay, which we're talking about putting some hay down here at Travis's sometime in the next few years. These bales are going to last us just long enough to get the first hay bales of the season made. Rocket, come on. Come on, Rocket. Come on. Come on. There you go. So the reason we're hauling all these bales up here is because we want to feed them all out before we start making new crop hay bales. And we want to use up all of our old bales and like I said before we are on track to use all of them up right when we go to make our first bales. So um, we brought them up to the main farm to feed the Travis's cattle and the ones that are still down there we're eventually going to haul out to my place to feed to the calves that are down the steer lot and in the pole shed at my place so that we feed them all up. And then once we start making bales we'll put them back into storage or actually first crop bales we'll probably start feeding out right away and then second third and fourth crop will be stored so um, yeah that's what we're up to today and I know I'm I usually don't wear a hat but I had to put something on my head earlier because the bugs were just driving me insane this time of the year the gnats are just horrible so I had to put something on my head because lucky me dark hair gnats are gnats are attracted to it so that's why I'm wearing a hat so uh, anyway uh, that's all for today thanks for watching guys